is Creamy Herbed Cauliflower, and I'm Jamie Hirschberger. I created this dish for the Real Women of Philadelphia Recipe Challenge, and my inspiration for this dish was the real woman. This is someone who I imagine aspires to cook one day in a kitchen that looks like this, but who is currently performing her culinary duties in an environment that looks more like this. In an ideal world, the real woman gets ingredients and inspiration for her evening meal from places like this. But more often than not, the nature of her obligations means she does most of her evening shopping from here and or here. That's not wrong, ladies. That's just real. And that's what inspires my recipes. So without further ado, let me talk you through how I make this recipe. Put a 16 ounce package of frozen cauliflower in a large skillet and cook it over medium high heat with about a half a cup of water. Once the water comes to a boil, put the lid on and cook for about six minutes. Then remove the lid and cook for another four minutes, just long enough to cook out some of that excess water. Next, stir in eight ounces of Philadelphia brand cream cheese, two teaspoons of good seasons zesty Italian salad dressing mix, and a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Don't worry ladies, you don't have to buy a lemon for this recipe. The stuff from concentrate that you have in your refrigerator will be just fine. That's it ladies. Once you've got those herbs nicely mixed into the cauliflower, you're ready to garnish. And speaking of garnish, I don't know about you, but I can only ever find parsley for sale in those great big bunches. And despite my best intentions, I can never use it all in time and I end up with a lot of waste which I just don't like. But I do keep something in my refrigerator that I could use as a garnish that stays fresh for a very long time, and that's celery. Celery makes a wonderful garnish for this dish. I'll show you how. Just grab a few leaves off of here. Doesn't really take very many, actually. And give them a quick chop. I was using my big knife that I usually use for chopping, but it didn't seem like it was sharp enough. I think it, I need to sharpen it. But anyway, a steak knife works just as well, even a broken one. And in fact, it does a nice job of making a wonderful garnish. I'm gonna put about a half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese right on top. The nice people at Kraft went ahead and shredded that for me. Very handy. And then I'm gonna top it with my celery leaf. Beautiful. So there you have it, creamy herbed cauliflower. I'd like to thank Paula Dean and the people at Philadelphia for considering my submission, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. I hope I've inspired you to get creative and get cooking with Philadelphia brand cream cheese.